So we're really, really pleased to invite you and look forward to hearing about your book. Emmanuel is going to be introducing Frédéric. She is a professor of French and history at Columbia University, also an alum of the Institute of French Studies. Um, and so uh, Emmanuel will do an introduction. We'll hear from Frédéric for about 25 minutes about his book. And then there'll be a discussion between the two of them. And we'll have time for Q&A at the end, at, uh, the last 10 or 15 minutes. So if you do have a question, please feel free to put your question in the Q&A box in French or English anytime throughout or at the end of the presentation. And with that, I extend all of you a warm welcome. Thank, thank all of you for joining us. And I turn over to Emmanuel Sada. Thank you. You're, you're on mute. <laughs> Sorry about this. Uh, good evening. It is a true pleasure to, uh, to be able to welcome, quote unquote, uh, Frédéric Viguier to Colombia tonight to the Maison Française. Uh, I hope that this virtual um, presentation will be followed soon by an um, actual presentation of some kind by Frédéric. Uh, Frédéric Viguier, for, for the few who might not know him, is a sociologist, is currently a clinical associate professor in the Institute of French Studies at NYU, where he's also the director of public programs. His current research focuses on the impact of educational policies in contemporary France and the former uh, French Empire. And he's currently working on a research project on the continuing influence of French education in um, Morocco after the independence. But tonight, Frédéric is here to, um, to present his first book, called uh, La Cause des Pauvres en France. Uh, it was published by uh, the Presse de Sciences Po in 2020. It was awarded that same year, the Grand Prix de la Protection Sociale. And I must say, in the context of the current health and economic crisis, it has garnered a lot of attention in the French press. The book focuses on a major transformation of the French, um, French welfare state policies in the past 30 years. Uh, that is to say, on how policies which uh, used to design uh, used to be designed to protect the working classes from unemployment shifted in the last uh, 30 years, uh, shifted to um, an attempt to fix individuals considered as uh, failing economic agents. Uh, I'm going to let him now say more. And again, I uh, welcome Frédéric with great, great pleasure to the Maison Française at Colombia. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, uh, Emmanuel. Thank you for, for your kind words of introduction. Thank you, Shani, uh, for the invitation as well. It's a, it's a, it's a pleasure to be among um, <clears throat> uh, alumni of the IFS, former colleagues uh, and friends. And Emmanuel, it's a particular uh, pleasure to discuss this book with you since you've seen this book go through uh, several stages. Uh, you've read uh, 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 chapters when it was a dissertation in the making and your encouragement was extremely useful and helpful for me to see this project through. So I'm really delighted that it's now a, uh, a, um, a book to, uh, to, to present and, uh, and uh, I'm uh, going to uh, briefly give you an overview about what's in the book. It's gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes and then uh, 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 I'll be uh, um, uh, discussing it with Emmanuel. I'm gonna share a PowerPoint uh, 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 presentation with you. So <clears throat> uh, uh, the this is the, uh, the, the cover of the book. Uh, uh, um, this book is uh, a history and uh, uh, sociology of the French welfare state with regard to poor people from 1945 to today. In this book, I seek to embrace at once intellectual, political, and institutional dimensions by focusing on the interrelated ways in which the poor have been thought of, uh, uh, represented, and treated by the French welfare state. 
And so what I'd like to do in the, uh, uh, in the next 20 minutes or so is to briefly present the, the faces that I uh, identify in this uh, uh, story, uh, uh, describe some of the arguments supporting the periodization that I established, and introduce in, in passing a few of the characters uh, and institutions that the book looks at. Over the uh, uh, 75 years uh, 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 that's uh, uh, taken place since the creation of social security in France after World War II, uh, the transformations have been dramatic. We moved from uh, 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 this, the, the first two images, to that, and I'll be a little bit more explicit about uh, what that is in a second. But the first two images uh, um, need uh, 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 to be uh, uh, commented. Uh, there were uh, uh, posters uh, posted across billboards across France in 1947 to promote the, the newborn uh, social security and spread the hope that social protection would shut the door on poverty, fermons la porte à la misère, and quite tightly with heavy doors, uh, uh, and expand the number of those benefiting, tous bénéficiaires, from work-based collective solidarity. So the, 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 these posters were part of a campaign to have workers participate in social security elections for which the turnout was indeed very high. Now this non-partisan poster was posted by the, the institution of social security has a style that is evocative of socialist realism and, and therefore, in retrospect, we might, be, uh, we might believe that it was partisan or communist to be specific, but it wasn't. Uh, uh, this is how uh, 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 this democratic social institution presented itself to the public as a common good in the service of the public. There was a shared belief in social progress in collective efforts. In the healthy, this is this, this arm, uh, uh, helping the sick, this is the wounded arm here, uh, uh, and the wounded to achieve together social security. Now, 71 years later, on uh, um, um, June uh, uh, 12, 2018, a video published, and bear with me, I'm going to exit the power presenta PowerPoint presentation to show the video, uh, by Macron's media advisor, uh, 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 presented the French president's philosophy regarding the welfare state uh, uh, in the Elysee Palace, surrounded by his advisors. Macron was preparing for the speech he would give the following day to the mutual aid societies. So I'm going to play it. The, the sound is not uh, uh, excellent. And you have on the right hand side a transcript uh, and italicize a, 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 a translation of the transcript. Uh, I'll play it, it's only 45 seconds, and then I'll, I'll, I'll read it again. Moi, je fais un constat qui est de dire tout le système social. On met trop de pognon, on déresponsabilise, et on est dans le curatif. C'est qu'on doit mieux prévenir, ça nous coûtera moins ensemble. Et on doit mieux responsabiliser tous les acteurs. On met un pognon de dingue dans des, dans des minima sociaux, les gens ils sont quand même pauvres. On n'en sort pas. Les gens qui restent pauvres, ils restent pauvres. Ceux qui tombent pauvres, ils restent pauvres. On doit avoir un truc qui permet aux gens de s'en sortir. C'est truc par l'éducation, il ne faut pas le refaire dans discours de congrès, mais hein, c'est comme ça qu'il faut le faire, c'est pas actif. Et donc il faut prévenir la pauvreté et responsabiliser les gens pour qu'ils sortent de la pauvreté. Et sur la santé, c'est pareil. Tout le système de soins que je repensais, c'est aller vers plus de prévention, Mieux organisé pour responsabiliser, y compris les acteurs de soins, et avoir un jeu plus coopératif. All right, and so let me read it to you in English. I make this observation. The whole welfare, we put too much money into it. We take away personal responsibility and we cure instead of preventing. And therefore, our entire social policy, and that's why I need you mutualists, we need better prevention. It will cost us less money altogether, and we need to make all actors more responsible. That's what I think this is all about. We must prevent and make people responsible. 
look at our social policies. We're putting a crazy amount of money, un pognon de dingue, into social minima, but people are poor all the same. They can't get out of poverty. People who are born poor, they remain poor. Those who become poor, they remain poor. We have to do something that allows people to get out of poverty, something with education. That's what we have to do. We have to prevent poverty and empower people to get out of poverty. And the same goes with the healthcare system. I want to rethink the entire healthcare system so that we have more prevention and a better organization to make people, including healthcare workers, more responsible and have more cooperation between the public and the private sector. So <clears throat> the reception of Emmanuel Macron's video, uh, uh, um, well, let, let me get to that a little bit la uh, later. Uh, there are striking uh, uh, differences, right, between the, 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 the first two documents and the second. The pronouns used in the first one are we, fermons, uh, uh, la porte, and they, tous, solidaires, all. And in the second one is I, moi je, a lot of moi je in the, in, in, in the video. Uh, uh, on the one hand, we have a democratic decision ba made by stakeholders uh, in uh, social security versus on the other, a lonely charismatic decision made by the inspired leader. The moral virtues presented in the first two documents uh, uh, as desirable are collective security, solidarity. What is presented as uh, uh, desirable in Macron's speech is personal responsibility. The first two documents don't speak about finances, even though they mattered to social security. The second one is concerned with the excessive costs, the pognon de dingue. So the reception of Macron's video was a mixed bag. And in fact, it probably cost him some credit, politically speaking. Several pundits applauded what they saw as an honest assessment. But many others, in fact, the overwhelming majority, were shocked by the video, which they saw as an abrupt turnab turnabout regarding poverty at the highest level of the French state. Since De Gaulle, uh, no French president had ever dared uh, 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 suggesting in such explicit terms that the poor were irresponsible, uh, uh, or that the money invested in them was wasted. To me, uh, uh, this vid video uh, came out when I was finishing my book ma manuscript and Macron's gaffe only confirmed what I had started to observe uh, uh, with Nicolas Sarkozy in particular, although to a far lesser extent. Displaying one's compassion for the poor was once a crucial political skill in, in French politics, uh, even for conservatives, uh, 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 think President Jacques Chirac, but it's no longer the case. Macron has been able to rise to the highest level of, of uh, French political of office without ever dealing with unions, mutual aid societies, uh, uh, or charitable associations. Otherwise, he or his media advisor would have known better and would have non, not published this uh, uh, video. And so my book explores the trajectory from 1945 to 2020. Now, I want to clarify that it's not intended to lament the golden years. Uh, 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 what my book does is study the successive models of social protection in France since 1945, their strengths and their weaknesses, the social groups, movements, activists, civil servants that fought about social protection, the ethos and social beliefs of the people who embodied these different models. And one of my central arguments uh, is that the way the French social protection system has treated and represented poverty has been the primary fault line. So, let me now uh, 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 say a few words about the first phase 
1945 to 1968, fighting poverty by expanding the wage earning society. Um, I want to clarify that the, 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 the boundaries are a little artificial. Uh, there could have been reasons to stop earlier or to go later. Uh, there's something arbitrary. Uh, uh, um, uh, in the end, I chose 1968 because it's an important date for uh, the uh, um, anti-poverty associations. Something new happens that I'll describe uh, uh, later. So in the, the, the first image on the, on the left-hand side is uh, the cover of the, the, the Robert Castel's book uh, uh, translated into English, Les Métamorphoses de la Question Sociale, uh, from, from manual workers to wage laborers. I listed him here to pay my debt, my intellectual debt to the, the, the great sociologist and the author of this monumental history of the French welfare state. But also because I think that the, the concept that he came up with that of wage earning society is particularly apt. It's a sort of synonym, if you will, for a Fordism or the Keynesian compromise, uh, uh, but it, it puts the emphasis on, uh, on, on uh, the benefits uh, 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 drawn from having a stable job. Uh, 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 social security in Robert Castel's eyes wage earning society, Société Salariale, uh, uh, was a way to overcome the, the opposition between capital and labor by inventing a form of social property attached to labor uh, 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 and a form of social property that would be run directly by workers and employers. And as a consequence, this invention of a common good uh, was freeing workers from the uncertainty of being and staying healthy, becoming too old to work, having a, a, a job, uh, full-time uh, decent jobs, providing health insurance, family benefits, pensions, protection against accidents or disability, and continuation of those benefits in the first weeks or months of an employment uh, 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 became a, a, a reality for French workers. So it's a program that was possible, uh, uh, and I'm moving to the second image here, uh, because it was supported at the highest level of the French state. The, the stamp here uh, 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 created 70 years uh, 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 after the birth of social security, uh, commemorates Pierre Larocque uh, uh, on, on, on the left here, uh, uh, and uh, a civil servant with legal training uh, and the so-called father of the French social security who implemented the, the, the system. A man who was convinced that the state must promote the general interest against the specific interests of such or such lobby and potentially restrict individual liberties of employers if those liberties conflict with collective liberties, such as workers' rights, the right to a decent income, and to a gainful personal life. He worked hand in hand with government. Ambroise Croizat was the first Ministre du Travail with whom he worked, a communist, but he also successfully worked with a socialist uh, 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 and the MRP, uh, uh, um, uh, Christian uh, uh, Democracy uh, 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 Center-right. Now, this, 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 this social security system uh, uh, was only covering, uh, uh, um, uh, was, wasn't covering uh, 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 everybody initially, had to, to gain power, uh, uh, um, but it was seen as the one way to fight and eradicate poverty. Uh, uh, poverty was not thought of as something, you know, that, 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 that needed special uh, 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 policy schemes. It would uh, derive from the expansion of the wage earning society that uh, poverty would disappear. In fact, in the eyes of the Communist Party, and I've uh, put here uh, uh, the image, the, 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 the front cover of Maurice Torres, La paupérisation des travailleurs français, the paupérisation of French workers, 
A Tragic Reality, which came out in 61, but, but sort of put together articles published in 50, from 55 to 57. Uh, 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 it was pretty clear that the word poor was not uh, 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 used to talk about a specific fringe outside of the wage earning society, but of the uh, 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 working class itself. Uh, 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 there was no condition in the eyes of Maurice Torres worse than being a worker and the way to, uh, to move forward was to expand uh, uh, wages and uh, benefits. Now, in this system, uh, 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 ambitious system with the, an idea of uh, uh, universal coverage eventually, uh, um, um, there still remained <laughs> a lot of poverty uh, that wasn't ultimately uh, 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 covered and addressed by social security. Uh, uh, Post-war France was very poor, had a huge housing crisis, a destroyed labor market, uh, and uh, uh, despite social security's steady expansion, uh, 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 the system failed to cover everyone. Not everyone was able to get stable jobs. There was a huge housing crisis, as I said, and people, uh, there were lots of camps uh, uh, around Paris uh, housing uh, poor people with uh, limited access to the, the, the stable uh, uh, job market. And uh, uh, in those camps, a number of charitable organizations uh, helped the poor, uh, uh, providing a number of, uh, uh, of uh, um, in kind uh, uh, benefits. So this one uh, uh, is a mythical photo for a, a movement that is central to my story, ATD Fourth World. It's the Noisy Le Grand Camp in 1954, the year that it was created. Uh, 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 Father Joseph Rizinski, we'll see him, uh, 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 came there as a priest worker and to help, and it, was, it shook his uh, 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 vision. He felt that poverty needed to be addressed specifically. Abbe Pierre on the right-hand side in the winter 1954 uh, made this famous appeal to public generosity to help the poor. Uh, uh, and it was a, a time when we saw uh, in the French public sphere the return of, uh, of Catholic priests, uh, uh, but they were no longer the, the, the princes of the church of yesteryear with their ruby rings and festooned capes and ermine. Uh, uh, they presented a more ascetic uh, 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 self. Uh, uh, um, and they didn't appeal to the rich to donate to the poor, they appealed to public generosity, to the public sphere. Uh, they had two fights, the oblivion of the poorest by social security, but also uh, uh, old fashioned uh, charity, which they felt was an insult to the poor. They wanted a, 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 a charitable organizations that would really put the needs and rights of poor people at the forefront rather than, 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 uh, than suppress them, force them, uh, lecture them, uh, uh, et, et cetera. And so uh, uh, it's in those camps that those new actors started uh, uh, elaborating a new conception of poverty as not addressed by uh, 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 social security. And uh, L'Exclusion Sociale, published by a sociologist, Jules Clanfer, in 1965, uh, sociologists associated uh, with ATD Fourth World was the first you know, book uh, uh, that came up with a concept to think about the margins of the, uh, the, the abundant society, uh, 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 at least that's the, 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 the timing uh, 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 in France. Um, you might remember Roland Barthes, a uh, scathing portrait of the Abbe Pierre's beard, uh, uh, which in Barthes' uh, 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 analysis substituted the tokens of charity, as Barthes said, to the reality of social justice. What well, Bart probably missed the novelty of, Abbe, of the Abbe Pierre uh, movement, uh, 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 but the sarcasm uh, 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 by Bart tells us a lot about how difficult it was for these Catholic activists to be heard in a context that really favored social security and a sort of more working class based uh, uh, social protection. I'm moving to the, to, the, to, the, to the next phase, 1968 to 1984, what I call fighting poverty through humanitarian advocacy. There's a it's distinct phase. 
it starts with you know this first image of, of uh, uh, put a book by Lionel Stoleru, an economist uh, uh, who later on became a, a minister in Valéry Giscard d'Estaing's uh, 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 cabinet, 1974, 1981. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Stoleru uh, uh, marks a shift in the consensus. Uh, on the capacity of the wage earning society to address poverty. For Stoleru, uh, um, the universalist ambition of social security has reached its apex. It's impossible to continue expanding social security without burdening the job market. Uh, uh, and in his view, the state had to step in and create improved but tax financed, not uh, uh, social security finance benefits for the poor. Uh, uh, another figure, uh, uh, René Lenoir, here uh, with Simone Veil, also in the cabinet of uh, uh, Valéry Giscard d'Estaing, uh, was a crucial figure of civil servant turned minister who uh, uh, um, um, uh, provided a lot of public money to uh, associations helping the poor, but also to associations helping the disabled. Uh, he shared uh, uh, Lionel Stoleru's uh, vision that social security had reached its, uh, its apex. Uh, uh, um, now, the, the turn was first on the center right, uh, uh, but in the 80s, uh, 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 the Socialist Party also shifted. I've put here an image of the, the changing of the Socialist Guard. Pierre Mauroy, the first prime minister of Mitterrand, 1981-1984, succeeded by Laurent Fabius. Uh, it's really a moment when uh, uh, the, party socialist, the Socialist Party to start seeing employment as a fragile uh, good one that cannot be burdened uh, uh, by too many constraints or contributions. And they started to, uh, uh, in their turn, favoring intervention of the state in the direct support of the poor. And in so doing, listening to what uh, 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 anti-poverty associations were recommending. It's a moment, this era is a moment of uh, opportunity for ATD4's world, another association, uh, political opportunity. Uh, we have here Joseph Rezinski and Geneviève de Gaulle, the, the niece of Charles. Uh, 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 she, uh, uh, after her uncle passed away, she started using her political uh, acquaintances to introduce Rezinski uh, at the highest level of the French social administration. Uh, 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 there were also intellectual uh, uh, opportunities. I've, uh, I've put here a famous uh, 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 special issue of Esprit, Pourquoi le travail social, with Michel Foucault in it. Uh, 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 it was a time when you know the, the, the intellectual left was moving away from the Communist Party and was starting to consider new agents of social change beyond the proletariat minorities, immigrant workers, disabled people, marginals. Uh, ATD Force World participated in those debates and advocated for a new figure, the poor, as excluded, as deprived from their human rights. Image three, this is later in the 80s, uh, 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 the uh, uh, father Joseph Rezinski in 87, uh, um, giving a speech to honor the poor as people uh, deny their human rights. In the third phase, our current phase, uh, things uh, started shifted rapidly. There was, uh, 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 and this is the first image, the le nou le Nouvel Observateur, Les Nouveaux Pauvres, uh, uh, New Poverty, 1984. Uh, 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 the severity of the economic depression in Mitterrand's France, increase in employment and with long unemployment, the number of people losing their social security benefits and finding themselves without any source of relief. Uh, uh, this led the, 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 the Socialist Party, but it was uh, 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 bipartisan, uh, uh, to uh, pass in 1988 the revenu minimum d'insertion, minimum income of insertion, uh, here uh, passed by uh, Prime Minister Michel Rocard, 
uh, um, 10 years later, they created a, uh, a, a universal healthcare accessible to the poor. Uh, uh, France uh, uh, started uh, creating contracts that were perhaps less burdensome for employers, uh, uh, but also expanding the safety net uh, for those excluded. They also offered a, a, a you know, welfare to work schemes, uh, uh, which initially were just uh, um, meant to encourage people to return to work. It's also a moment when uh, 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 sociologists, social scientists who had long ignored uh, uh, poverty, not measured it, they focused on, uh, on social groups and professions, uh, started, uh, you know, measuring poverty uh, 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 and measuring also the efficiency of welfare to work uh, uh, programs. In other words, we have a sort of new paradigm uh, that's in place with new schemes and benefits and new knowledge and ways to talk uh, 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 about poor people. Uh, uh, um, I'll finish here because uh, this was really an overview of the, the, the era, so uh, 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 of the, the, the history I cover in the book. But uh, uh, as a consequence uh, um, in this last phase, uh, 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 you know, uh, anti-poverty activists have uh, uh, um, had lots of victories with new schemes uh, uh, um, that indeed uh, help France mitigate poverty uh, better than other European countries. Uh, 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 but but th th it's also a new way of talking about poverty that has started prevailing in the public sphere. Uh, poverty is no longer seen as something that can be eradicated through structural redistribution. It is seen as something that will never go away and only needs to be mitigated. Uh, as anti-poverty activists rose and labor activists, the Communist Party, the Socialist Party, the unions declined, a new political ethos emerged in the French political sphere, one that's less confrontational with the powers that be, one that's more invested in finding pragmatic solutions, but also one that in the end proves unable to reverse the power balance. This is the uh, a campaign uh, currently uh, going on in Paris uh, 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 by the Secours Catholique. Uh, la fin de la pauvreté n'est pas pour demain, on ne va pas se mentir, mais laisser tomber, ce serait encore pire. The end of poverty is not for tomorrow. Let's not, uh, 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 let's not dupe ourselves, fool ourselves, but uh, giving up would be worse. I find the sort of the, the resignation uh, <laughs> behind this campaign at a time when, you know, the, 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 ex the, the formidable expansion of poverty uh, uh, related to COVID quite interesting if we put it in a historic perspective. Also, you know, what started, you know, um, with the idea of supporting the poor has soured a bit. I, I, I gave you the, the speech by uh, President Macron, uh, uh, but uh, um, um, anti-poverty activists have started uh, um, really emphasizing uh, 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 the fight against prejudice uh, uh, against the poor, and I've uh, listed here this 2013 book, En finir avec les idées fausses sur les pauvres et la pauvreté. And so this is where we're at uh, 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 um, uh, in, in 2020, uh, 2021, but I'm going to stop here and uh, open this up for the conversation with you, Emmanuel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, for this wonderful presentation of a wonderful book, um, I must say it's um, at the presentation. I think was was uh, indicating the book is extremely rich. There is a you know a, a wealth of of, of both um, archival research, but also a lot of of references to you know the social sciences that have you know. Um, been produced on the poor in France since uh, the 40s, and also lots of um, um, excerpts from interviews and, 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 and you know, very rich uh, description, thick description of that cause des pauvres. And it's actually extremely enjoyable to read that book. So I really uh, recommend uh, reading that book soon. I also recommend uh, it to be, for it to be um, 
uh, translate into English because I think it has it would be a, it's an interesting counterpoint. Uh, and I, actually, I'm get, going to get to that in my questions. I have uh, three questions, but uh, depending on how um, fast <laughs> you answer, answer them, I might uh, I might uh, uh, pass on, on the last one. Uh, and, and leave uh, some room for, for questions, which you can put in the Q&A, and uh, I will uh, take the questions from the public to, um, to Frédéric. Uh, and you can start now if you want, uh, and then I get an idea of how many questions there are and when, when, whether I should stop asking my question to Frédéric. In any case, uh, Frédéric, um, as as you 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 showed in your in your uh, presentation now, your book is really um, a wonderful research into the the la cause des pauvres, right? The cause of the poor uh, and how it was uh, constructed, as social scientists say, right? How the idea of the poor and the transformation of the ideas of the poor. Uh, have been, in a way, the product of a collective uh, work from different actors with different interests. Uh, you, 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 in your book, you speak. I mean, in the presentation here, you studied with Macron, right? You start with a book with that too. But you know, from the highest level of the state to the, uh, you know, activist and in, in local activist in small um, associations. And uh, and so we we get a very good sense of this uh, evolution. You also of, of of the category of the poor, right? The representation of the poor, the mental ideas that people have of the poor. We also get a little less, but still, an idea of of how this um, this uh, cause and the transformation of the cause. I really like this this term, and I don't I can't find a better word to to describe what you're doing. Uh, has had effects because you do mention. Um, a little, not very much tonight because you don't have time, but you do mention, you know, the the amount of public money that was, you know, uh, uh, devoted to 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 those policies toward the poor. You you obviously mentioned the, the and described very in much detailed the several, um, you know. Uh, uh, programs to help the poor and their transformation over time. And you do, you do give us an idea of you know, the, the impact, I would say, the, the, the quantitative impact. I have a question about the qualitative impact. Because you know, one of the questions that, that, that the, the, I think even maybe more so in the US than in France, people can ask themselves is, at the end of the day, how does that cause des pauvres impact the way that poor people think about themselves, how their lives is transformed, right? They're poor, as Macron said, they're still poor. Uh, they get money, you know, from a different way. They get more or less money, which obviously is very important. But in terms of their subjectivity, in terms of, you know, the fact of being, you know, considered as, you know, someone who deserves help as opposed to someone who is basically, you know, pathological member of society. Uh, does, do you have, I mean, there is not much of that in your book, and I was wondering if you have thought about it, if you have indication of that, if uh, that matters. Thank you, Emmanuel, uh, for this question. You're, you're right. I mean, there's a, a, not a lot about, uh, about that in my book. Uh, um, Part of it is uh, is that you know the field work that I did uh, changed over time. Uh, um, uh, the, the, those associations that I talk about uh, uh, are very uh, protective of uh, of their poor, and doing a, 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 a field work with them uh, 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 requires uh, uh, showing showing yourself as an ally. Which I wasn't. Uh, um, I had. I came. Uh, 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 honestly, uh, should say that I came with a uh, with uh, um, reservations. Uh, um, in a way, I share. Uh, I shared uh, this idea that your former colleague at Columbia, who went to Yale and is now at Chicago, um, I'm forgetting his name. Uh, that human rights. Uh, are, are essential, but that they're not enough in the fact that it's also important to change the power relationships to organize that. And I felt that in a way, uh, the, the activists for the poor had been duped and that they had fostered uh, a self-presentation of the, the victims as as uh, uh, I would say in French, you know, you know a sort of uh, 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 please listen to me, please, uh, and not calling attention to the fault lines and the real places where, uh, where uh, 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 
something uh, uh, massive could happen. I think that, for instance, the the, the gilet jaune, the yellow vest movement, which in, in in some way you know they saw themselves as poor people, was incredibly disruptive, violent. They wanted to be where power is uh, um, without delegation, and the the people working with poor uh, people's associations, such as Atelier des Carmonde, are far more uh, uh, prudent. Uh, uh, and they make uh, theirs, uh, what Atelier des Carmonde keeps saying, when you are poor, you, you cannot uh, break bridges, burn bridges, uh, uh, because survival is from one day to the next. Uh, uh, we need to remain polite and respectful because there's so much at stake. Social services could come in and take the kids away. And so there's this element of fear uh, 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 and prudence in uh, self-presentation that uh, uh, I have uh, uh, observed uh, among some of the associations that I've done work with. But I shied away from, uh, from writing it. Uh, because I didn't want to appear critical, uh, uh, um, uh, A, and B, because I also, you know, had not done the very long uh, uh, ethnographic fieldwork that would have allowed me, you know, to see people change when they work with those associations and see the sort of incorporation of, of self-presentations. And, you know, I, I didn't have fully the data. So what I'm, uh, 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 what I've just shared right now is more my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, uh, intuition and initial response, uh, than something that, uh, that, uh, that I felt ready to, uh, uh, uh to substantiate. Sorry, thank you so much. Um, I, ha I had a, a, um, two other questions, and maybe I'll add them together so that to save time, and then you know, so that you um, can decide which one you want to answer. If you can decide to answer um, both or one or zero, uh, it's up to you. Uh, one one of my questions, obviously, um, about the current situation, and you know, the, 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 you you alluded to the. Um, to, to, to the crisis, but um, uh, if we want to actually think about it a little in the maybe longer jury, one of the things that you uh, mentioned that was really important is also in La Cause des Pauvres, the, 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 the status of old people, right? That has, that in France uh, was really an essential uh, entry into thinking about poverty uh, in, the, in the few decades, I mean, the first decades after the war. So I was wondering if, because obviously, you know, uh, COVID-19, uh, especially in France, but not only in France, has uh, made more victims among the older population. I was wondering if, uh, you know, especially a population that, unlike what Macron says, cannot be uh, made responsible or more responsible, right, in terms of their ability to fight or to prevent COVID-19, right? Uh, especially if you at the example of um, retirement homes. Uh, so I was wondering if, you know, if you could tell us a little more about what you see, uh, what the impact you think is going to be of the COVID-19 crisis on, that tr on the transformation of the cause of the poor, and maybe more specifically on the uh, situation of older people. And my second question is obviously uh, a comparative question in the context of, you know, uh, Biden's um, uh, 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 policies and the orientation so far, right, of, of Biden's uh, 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 government seems to be uh, oriented toward, you know, more robust, let's say, welfare state than even what we could think about when he was campaigning, right? Uh, and so I was wondering if you think that if the French, um, the French uh, recent transformation do, uh, in a way, go in a different direction? Do they go, you know, uh, um, uh, is 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 the current very current administration in the U.S. Uh, going back to a uh, older version of what France had, or what's going on here, uh, or is 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 it, were there former lessons of the French case that could be uh, used here? Thank you, Emmanuel, for for these two questions. So. Uh, about uh, um, the the impact of COVID, COVID and uh, and um, especially when it, when it comes to uh, to uh, um, uh, age uh, uh, seniors, um, yeah, I, I, I want to say that uh, that uh, you know we don't have the exact num numbers yet, but uh, the so 
cours catholiques, uh, has argued that their, their, their relief shelters are, are bursting out, uh, uh, the number of people applying for the RSA, Revenu de, Soli Revenu de Solidarité Active, uh, uh, Active uh, 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 Solidarity Income, um, has uh, also exploded. Uh, uh, and uh, and uh, but, but what we're seeing uh, 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 is a new form of, uh, uh, of uh, visibility. Uh, it's the, the, the visibility of, uh, of uh, young people, not so much uh, all people among the poor. They are vastly, staggeringly overrepresented. And, uh, and, uh, and we have this very interested conjunction uh, right now with, with these cars that, that sort of, uh, um, you know, has the features that I described earlier, prudent, uh, uh, miserabilist, we would say in French, you know, sort of uh, 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 listen to us, our human rights are being denied, but politely is, is, uh, is um, uh, being uh, uh, currently, uh, is coming together uh, with the, the, the cause of, of young people uh, uh, demanding that they be uh, that they be given access to the minimum income. I should have said earlier that the minimum income revenu de solidarité active is only uh, 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 accessible to people beyond uh, uh, age 25. Uh, uh, um, 18 to 25 uh, is excluded uh, under the, the 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 pretense that they should be either helped by their parents, their family, or that really you know they need to make themselves flexible for work, uh, and so it's a strong you know uh, dogma uh, of Macron's. Uh, uh, no, no, no. But the, the, there's a rising movement uh, uh, among students to 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 to, to uh, uh, um, uh, demand the expansion of RSA to to them too, and they're coming together uh, uh, with. Uh, uh, with uh, 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 the traditional anti-poverty associations. And I find this movement quite interesting because it is, it is likely uh, to reconfigure uh, 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 the sort of grassroots politics of, uh, of, uh, of poverty uh, 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 in France. Now, when it comes to the, the comparison with the US, uh, um, uh, um, diffi difficult to say. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's the, the US uh, uh, does horribly poorly in terms of, uh, of mitigating poverty. Uh, uh, 2018, the last number, you know, fully available, the US had a poverty rate at 50% of the median income at 17% and France at 8%. Uh, the idea of a minimum income that's decent um, uh, it's not very consensual. I mean, we saw that some of the rise of the support in favor of Trump happened when, when the, the, the Republican Party started saying, you know, well, they, they, they'd better stay at home if they make more money uh, uh, with unemployment checks uh, uh, than by working at a time when, when work wasn't available. So uh, uh, I think that the, the, the idea when the, the sort of the the minimum wage is so low in so many parts of the US of giving a minimum income uh, uh, is a long cry uh, 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 in the US as long as uh, people won't be persuaded that it would only have a positive effect on a uh, minimum wage. If you know people are given a minimum income when they are in poverty and out of work, uh, one can expect that it would have a sort of, uh, 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 um, it would push up uh, 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 minimum wage, but we seem to be pretty far from it, and uh, and satisfied with a uh, with a level of uh, poverty uh, um, that's uh, uh, the worst in the developed world in the U.S. So I don't I don't know where, where that's going. Sorry, thank you, thank you so much for this um, for this uh, this uh, answers. Um, and now I'm going to go through the questions that are, I'm going to, 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 to um, paraphrase the questions in the Q&A, if that's okay, I suppose that's what I'm, I'm supposed to do. And uh, I, will, I will try to actually synthesize, synthesize uh, to some of those questions. Um, one of them is about the, uh, from Claudie Bernard, about the evolution of poverty. 
and uh, of, of, I'm sorry about the definition of poverty and how it has evolved, which is obviously a very central, you know, point in your in your book. So I think it would be great to to um, to go to this and uh, maybe uh, to I, I think we can fold the second question somewhat into the first question in this evolution of the transformation of poverty do you see this just as a french phenomenon or are they a western society uh phenomenon uh of you know like of, of societies in in the west turning away from a social democratic ideals toward a neoliberal ethos and um and yes so not just france yeah so in answer to Claudie, uh, hi Claudie's <laughs> question. Uh, uh, so there, 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 are, there are two, uh, uh, I mean, it's central, central in my book, but there, there are three uh, 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 circles to take into account. There's a sort of the statistical definitions, which allows international comparison. Uh, um, all statisticians insist that it's really difficult to capture poverty with only one indicator, such as the one which is the most often used, the 50% of the median income. Uh, uh, and, they, they, uh, and they say that there, there should be several indicators, at least 18, some indicators about the intensity of poverty, uh, 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 the distribution of the poor behind this, this threshold, etc., etc. So uh, um, um, that's a statistical uh, thing. What, what's, what's interesting to, to note here is that for, for the French system, at least, uh, there was uh, no interest in uh, statistical definitions of poverty until, until the 80s. Uh, uh, the French statisticians of the INSEE uh, were interested in, in uh, social groups and professions. And they felt that you know, a uh, 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 blue collar working class uh, uh, and clerical, uh, white collar uh, uh, work, working class uh, was uh, <laughs> the, the sort of the, like Maurice Thorez, if you will, in 1955, uh, uh, the, the, the ones that were poor and, and whose, you know, uh, 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 lot, whose condition needed uh, being uh, um, investigated. There's an administrative uh, definition of poverty, uh, uh, an exclusion. It has been by the by the uh, 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 you know the associations, people excluded from the sort of the the general regime of social security, and not having access to uh, 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 you know uh, health insurance, family benefits. Uh, uh, and so on, uh, 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 but be, be left to assistance, uh, to soup populaire, to, uh, to crumbles of, uh, of aid, left to uh, municipalities uh, in the 50s and 60s. And now, since the creation of the RMI, Revenue Minimum d'Insertion, turned RSA in 2008, uh, those are the, the sort of the targets, uh, uh, those are the poor, the administrative poor. Uh, 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 if you will, and there are a number of schemes. And then there are also the sort of representations uh, 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 that go uh, with it. And I think that, you know, it's interesting to see the shift in sort of uh, the public sphere uh, from a sense that it was indeed the condition of the, the working class, even the stable working class, to a sense that, that now hides the reality that you know there's the people that need to be fixed, that need, need to be given education, that need to be moved from welfare to work. When in fact, among the poor today, there are so very many young people uh, who do not get their parents' help, but do not uh, are not employable. There are very many uh, single-headed uh, 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 families uh, in women uh, 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 who you know need need to take care of their, of their children. Uh, uh, there are many uh, uh, um, people who are racialized uh, uh, or don't have, you know, uh, French citizenship. Uh, 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 you know, the, the French uh, government uh, um, encourages more poverty by dismantling uh, 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 um, immigrant camps constantly. Uh, um, and so, you know, the, the sort of the notion, uh, <laughs> mainstream notion of poverty defined by Macron as personal irresponsibility, in fact, fails to grasp uh, uh, all of those categories uh, uh, that, that are the, the, the large uh, contingents of the poor uh, today in France. 
Dan's question, it's, it's excellent. You know, uh, Dan, uh, uh, the, does it mirror uh, what, uh, <laughs> uh, what's happened in other uh, societies? You know, it's, a, it's an objection I made to myself. Uh, I'm telling a very French story, uh, very rooted in French intellectual traditions, uh, political traditions, and yet <laughs> the conclusions are across the, welfare, the, the uh, across the Western world. Uh, uh, we've seen, you know, the, the move towards activation in very many other countries. Uh, we've seen the sort of the more working class oriented disappear, vision disappear, and the sort of the new, like, we need to, we need to educate them, fix them, move them, uh, 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 appear. And, and uh, I must say, uh, uh, Dan, I do not have a satisfactory answer to this question. What do I make with my very, you know, French uh, uh, study uh, that at the same time, uh, uh, those are just the French ways uh, uh, for a phenomenon that I would fully agree with you uh, has been uh, uh, across the Western world. I hope the book can be ordered through Albertine, but I do not have the, uh, 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 an answer. Um, I, I think you should just, uh, you should just request it. <laughs> Sorry, so I, I see that you can see the Q&A. So maybe I should not read from it, but I will. Uh, I'm going to say that, yes, I'm sure you can get the book from Albertine. You just have to go to the Albertine website and register. And then you can order the book. Once you're registered, you can order any book and then they can either deliver it to you or uh, you can pick it up from their from the bookstore. Um, so another another question for Marija, which to some extent is, is, is also related to, you know, the the, the, the the production of the categories of the poor and, and, and the way to um, to deal with, 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 with the poor and uh, that the opposition between Marxists and um, and of the opposition, maybe the, the, the discussion, the debate that there, there might be uh, today between orthodox Marxists and people who are closer to Foucault's orientation toward marginalized groups. And if I remember well, uh, Castel was actually very close to Foucault, right? So it's, it's a very interesting way of thinking, I think, about um, maybe the lines of, of um, the lines of division within the actors of La Cause des Pour. The, the <laughs> you are muted. Let me let me step back. Uh, 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 um, in fact, you know this this dialogue was 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 heated <laughs> in the in the sixties and seventies. Uh, you know, the communist uh, inspired or intellectuals really resented. Uh, this new historical agent, the poor, and they felt that it was really the love for the poor uh, uh, was really the hatred of the, <laughs> of the working class uh, uh, trying to pass as compassion. Uh, uh, and, and conversely, uh, you know, uh, many, you know, uh, uh, Foucauldians felt that, you know, the dialogue was just not happening on the premises set uh, by the labor movement. And so it's a long story of not talking to each other. Uh, uh, and, you know, the, 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 the sort of the, the, the deuxième gauche, second left, uh, prevailed when the first left in Mitterrand's uh, 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 ranks uh, uh, failed. Uh, or at least that it was deemed that they had, that it was assessed that they had failed and that we needed to, they needed to turn to new uh, uh, luminaries. Uh, now, that was, that was, that was, that was the case then. Uh, uh, I think, you know, the, 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 the orthodox Marxism has declined enough <laughs> in France and also the, the sort of the, 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 the advocates of, for, for the poor are also bitter enough about uh, uh, the, the current situation, that uh, the, the intellectual landscape is, is it's completely different. I don't think that there's the same diffidence that there once was between, between those two causes, la cause des salariés of the working class and la cause des pauvres. Uh, uh, and that in fact, uh, 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 lots of places, including intellectuals are trying ways 
or trying to find ways to merge uh, the causes and to, uh, to, to, to fight both, uh, uh, to, to, you know, to, 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 to be attentive to power, to reversing power relationships in the sort of more Marxist tradition and to uh, 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 advocate for, uh, for new types of rights, to listen, to not uh, take it for granted that people it's only agencies that are for, uh, dictated by the by the party, so that 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 that, that would be that would be my answer to you. Uh, um, I, I I do see, for instance, in, in places like uh, um, la, la revue uh, a Jesuit uh, 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 journal uh, 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 a strong merging of all of those uh, former breeds of the French left, and I I find it very. Uh, uh, very interesting to, uh, to, to see, you know, uh, what once was extremely distinct. You would find uh, those discussions in different uh, uh, journals, magazines, outlets. And now uh, 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 I see those discussions uh, uh, really happening. I'm, I'm sorry that I'm blanking on the name of this uh, Jesuit uh, 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 journal weekly, uh, but I am blanking, uh, so sorry. <laughs> um. I'm, I'm blanking too, but I will. Uh, I, that will come back to me in a second. Uh, actually, uh, Fred, can you stay for a few more minutes? Another, yeah, of course. Great. Great. So um, we have we have uh, uh, two questions, and or one question in two parts, which I'm not sure I completely understand, but I will try to um, get it to you or to everybody here. Um, what do you think of Epicure's definition of poverty? That is to say that for Epicure. Uh, one is poor or one can be poor because one has few possessions or because one has a lot of needs. So is poverty at the end of the day a state of being? And here we can think maybe of like the 18th century tradition of people like Rousseau, right? Speaking about, you know, desires and the desires we might have for things that are, you know, in a way product of the society in which we live in and not. Um, and, and in that sense, poverty is a result of, you know, a, certain uh, mental state of, 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 of being. Uh, and then the uh, second part of the question, and I, I must say maybe this is what I don't entirely understand, is that uh, one way in which poor stay poor is that uh, they give their money to the rich. And so when they run, <laughs> sorry, I don't understand this, better. and then when they run out, they vote for politicians who print more money for them to give to the rich. So um, do you see a word of this conundrum? So they, they, when, when Yanis, when you say that uh, poor stay poor because they give their money to the rich, do you mean that they, um, that they, they, they accept their, um, they, 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 they accept the situation, they, they accept the fact that they are exploited, they accept to uh, maybe too easily to work for, um, Minimal salaries. I mean, salaries that unfair salaries and, and so on and so forth. And that's that the expect is where I don't understand the question. Um, but I see Yan is appearing on the screen here. I don't know um, if uh, maybe answer and answer Fred and and then. Uh, um, so yeah, the sort of the the Epicurean. Stoician, I don't know, uh, uh, definition of poverty as uh, uh, the, 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 this little uh, uh, currency for that kind of definition in the in the debates that I've uh, that I've noticed. But I'll say this: uh, um, the some of the uh, uh, associations uh, working with the poor have consciously tried to uh, foster. Uh, um, um, uh, Reservation, uh, uh, self-limitation with regard to consumerism. Uh, they do feel, and, and, it, and, and it's quite interesting because they don't they, they, they don't want to lecture the poor about their needs, but they profess a sort of abstention from the excesses uh, uh, of uh, of uh, consumer society, and, uh, and and they try to uh, to uh, instill uh, 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 ways in which. Uh, the poor wouldn't pay more, as uh, to to cite 
the title of a book, The Poor Pay More, by, uh, by constantly uh, being behind the curve in their consumerism. So uh, I hope this is, this is a way to answer uh, uh, your question, Yanis. I mean, it's, it's not, it doesn't have a lot of currency, those, those notions, but uh, 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 poverty, uh, behaviors, are, 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 can, can be changed to uh, personal behaviors can be changed and not just by learning you know, uh, trades uh, to uh, limit the impact of uh, having little needs. Thank you, uh, thank you, Frederic. Apologies, I was in the middle of having dinner so I couldn't run to the computer fast enough to unmute. Uh, now, can I clarify that I was not referring to personal consumption, which is small scale consumption but rather the more expensive needs, for example, housing. Look, for example, now how wages were cancelled with the stroke of a pen because of the lockdowns, but the rents are still considered payable to their full extent. And, 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 the, and the people voted for politicians which actually want to give more money to go to the landlords instead of voting for politicians that would force a cancellation of those of these rents at least during uh, during the pandemic which would be commensurate with ha what happened to wages these are the antinomies i'm, I'm trying to touch at yeah uh thank you uh yanis uh, you know i'm i'm not sure that I, that I fully understand your question, but I, I, I think I, 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 I think I might uh, get a sense of, of, of where you're headed with this. If is there a critique uh, among you know the the, the social activists uh, uh, of uh, uh, the current way of spending money of the low interest rates, which which stand. Uh, uh, you know, to make credit accessible, and that and that's good to a certain extent, but it also uh, enriches the rich, and therefore uh, makes the stock uh, uh, market uh, 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 soar, and uh, has a consequence of furthering inequalities. I don't see, you know, a kind of systemic uh, 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 critique uh, uh, like this uh, uh, among the uh, the uh, 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 anti-poverty. Uh, social activists that I usually deal with. Now, what I see is more a denunciation of the state, the deplorable state in which uh, very many uh, uh, find themselves. Uh, but I do not see that kind of systemic critique of the political economy. Um. I don't see uh, any other questions in the chat or in the Q&A. Um, I wanted to say, I put this in the chat, the, the, the journal you were referring to, I think, is Etude, Frédéric, the Jesuit journal. Very interesting uh, intellectual review in France. Um, so in the absence of more questions, maybe we're going to stop here. We're going to thank uh, Frédéric for uh, his uh, presentation. We're going to thank him for this wonderful book, which you can get at uh, Albertine, but also I think uh, on Amazon, which delivers uh, relatively quickly uh, from France and uh, in all good um, um, university libraries <laughs> so far, and, and hopefully uh, translated into English uh, soon. Um, and uh, in addition to thanking Frederick, I would like to thank Shani Peer and Fanny Gax for the um, organization of this uh, event tonight. And thank you all for, uh, for joining us tonight uh, to speak about La Cause des Pauvres. Thank you. Thank you very much. I uh, 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 was very appreciative of this invitation. It was a pleasure to uh, chat with you, Emmanuel, about it. Thank you, Shani. Thank you, Fanny. Thank you, everyone who attended. Thank you. <laughs>